Welcome everyone to Deck Bros, the channel dedicated to the Steam Deck. In this series, we'll be testing out just about every game in our Steam library from A to Z, showing off our recommended settings to give you the best experience and to answer the question, will it deck? Next up is Oninaki. Oninaki is an action role-playing game and you will play as a boy named Kagachi. At the start of the game, your parents lay still in bed as they are undertaken by death and your childhood friend Moyura tries to comfort you. She insists she would bring her father who is a watcher with the ability to speak to the dead to allow Kagachi some closure. Once Kushi arrives, he goes and tells you not to grieve for the dead, as grief can carry regret to the spirits and may hinder them from being reborn as reincarnation plays a big role in this world. Twenty years will have passed, and you have now joined the Veil Watch and become a Watcher as well. ここはオニビトで戦いましょう。カガチ、行ける。問題ない。そっちはマイラに任せる。All right, so now that we have gone over the backstory of the game a bit, let's dive into the actual performance of the game and how it runs on the Steam Deck. This game runs really well at 60 frames per second with the shadow quality set to high and also anti-aliasing set to high. Those two settings are the main settings that you can alter in a game other than resolution. When playing the game, you may notice the frame will dip by a few digits from 60 and I promise you, it will not be noticeable unless you are staring at the FPS counter. An interesting take on this game is that Kagachi uses daemons when battling enemies. Daemons are spirits that are able to manifest different types of weapons such as swords, spears, and crossbows. You can equip up to four different daemons at one time as you travel the world with all unique abilities. All right, so I do want to transition over to some actual gameplay of the game running on the Steam Deck itself, so enjoy. Another great take on this game I would say is that each daemon that joins your party you will be able to unlock their paths and as they progress in level you will be able to learn more of who and how they were as when they were once alive. <laughs> Tamiga 
With that being said, this game definitely decks and you can enjoy it at 60 frames per second for the best performance or at 40 frames per second if you would like a great balance between battery life and performance. As we always say, definitely tweak this game to your liking and enjoy. We appreciate each and everyone who checks out this video and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, let us know if your thoughts below on this video and if you think this is a game you find interesting. See you on the next one and peace.